What's up, people? World Famous Method Peter, and you are watching World Famous TV. And today, we are talking to Kashi69 and how this man ready to start a new life, new career, and how he's going to walk out the front door in about four months and not look back at anybody who actually was in Treyway, how everybody actually screwed him in Treyway, how everybody took advantage of him in Treyway, because guess what? Treyway is now no way, because Treyway done. And I'm going to tell you why it's done, because too many people try to extort money from him between Harv and Nuke and Mel Murder and Shoddy, because we go, Shoddy was ripping him off. Listen, not for nothing, if you're going to go out and extort money from somebody, don't do it publicly on camera so the world can watch you go from a rise to a downfall as fast as you started. Here's what we come down to. Everybody took plea deals, right? You had Kuda B took a plea deal. Shoddy took a plea deal. Mel Murder took a plea deal. Mel Matrix took a plea deal. But then they got these two guys. Anthony Harv Ellison and Jeremiah Nuke Mack. Who said, we're going to court. <clears throat> you two are dumb as shit. You should have took a plea deal too. You went to court. They had a trial. Takashi testified. CEO Chris testified. Listen, the girlfriend testified. You guys had no shot at life. But today, two guys were convicted, and those two guys are going to jail. And we don't wish jail on nobody. So anybody out here thinking jail's cool and you're a badass and you watch my videos, jail ain't cool. I've never been to jail, and I don't ever want to go to jail. But you know what? These two guys are going to jail, and that's not cool. Because on the racketeering charges, they both got convicted. That was count one on the racketeering. Racketeering, it's called RICO. Okay, if you guys don't know what Rico is, Rico was because of the mafia, because the mafia started the Rico. But Rico on these two right now is no good. Rico can be anywhere from 15 years to life. Okay, that's a guarantee. They're definitely going away for 15 years on Rico. Now, they also got convicted of kidnapping. That was charge number two. That was the one they actually got convicted of the kidnapping was Anthony Harv Ellison. Uh, now, here's where it gets a little interesting. Count three and four had to do with a gun. And count three and four actually had to do with, was there a weapon used? Well, you know, they threw out the whole thing on the weapon. But how do you kidnap somebody with no weapon? Now, Anthony Harv Ellison was the one that robbed them. Anthony Harv Ellison was the one that was convicted of kidnapping. But here's the million dollar question. Who had the gun? It wasn't Anthony Harv Ellison. It was Nuke. Unfortunately, they weren't convicted of that. But they got an appeal in for that. Now, count five. Okay. Maiming and assaulting. Well, maiming and assaulting, are, are, you know, with intent to do bodily injury. That's some serious charges in New York. That's a five-year mandatory. So, and it could, it, that's a minimum five years. And the mandatory could up to 15 Okay, so you know what? That could be time added on to that RICO charge. So now you're looking at 20 years, 25 years just on that. Now, you know, these guys don't realize if they just took a plea deal, they might have gotten 10 years if they just pled out to stuff. But now nah, they had to keep going. And, of course, drugs. Drugs was more towards Nuke. Unfortunately, Nuke and the drugs caught up with them. Because I don't know what charges they had on Nuke, but I know he had drug charges that were crazy. And those drug charges got linked because CEO, CEO Chris set him up, ran his mouth, and said a whole bunch of things. And you know what? When it comes down to the end of the day, I don't know what to tell you. But you know what I can tell you? It ain't good because he's looking at anywhere between 7 to 20 years in jail on fentanyl and or heroin charges. And that's some serious stuff right there. And if you get charged with that stuff, that goes against you. And unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of charges here. I mean, you know, on on the 20 years and for the nuke with you know with the racketeering, that's a good 20 year run, maybe 25. As far as the kidnapping with Anthony Harv Ellison, eh, along with the Rico, along with the maiming, eh, you, dude, you're looking at 30 years minimum, maybe as much as 60. Should have took the plea deal like everyone else and called it a day. But you had to play hero, and it backed up against you. And, you know, I don't wish jail on nobody. 
I wish nobody else to go to jail. I wish everybody could be free. Because I don't know these people, but I'm reporting on it. So I'm just letting you know. And shout out to Jack Frost at BBN for breaking this story, being in the courtroom, and going out of his way to make sure that these guys were like, you know, he was fair. I watch all of his videos. I've watched everything. Even his Tonight Show, his Good Morning Coffee Show and everything. And you know what? He, Jack Frost was there the whole time. And you know what? He's been on this story. Shout out to him. It's, it's so interesting to watch the BBN Network. I watch it. I'm subscribed to it. I also, you know, I got people that subscribe to my channel from BBN. So shout out to them. And you know what? Shout out to anybody that watches my videos. You know what? Subscribe to the channel. Because I'm going to put out good content. I'm making this video. I got a couple other videos coming up. I'm going to have a report on more information later on tonight. And I might actually do one tomorrow on this subject. Just because I know Jack Frost is going to have great information. And I take a lot of the information that these YouTube guys are out there. And I re-report it. Because you know what? That helps. That helps those that don't know about these things. Don't commit crimes, people. If you commit crimes, it's going to come back at you. And look what happened to these guys. They got busted in a RICO. They got busted for weapons charges. They got busted for drugs. They were on wiretaps. And people said Takashi was snitching. He didn't snitch. He didn't have to. Everything was recorded. How are you in a gang calling yourself Treyway, trying to stay low profile, and you're getting busted because everything you're doing is recorded? That ain't good. For all you gang members out there that actually are in gangs, don't record nothing. <clears throat> Stay low profile. Hide under the radar. Or you're going to end up just like these guys. Everybody's screaming Treyway. Although they do got the best security in the world, Treyway had the greatest security on the planet. There was no doubt about it. Takashi had great Treyway security. They weren't fooling around. Nobody touched that kid except for the people on the inside. And that robbery, the robbery... And the kidnapping was what did Mel, uh, sorry, Anthony Hav Mellison in. I almost said the wrong person. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, when you glorify and put yourself out there for the world to see, making videos can incriminate you. Don't make videos in the future that's going to get you locked up. It's not worth it. It puts you at the scene of the crime right off the bat. Don't make those mistakes. Shout out to everybody whose families have been affected by this. You know what? My view on Takashi, he was a civilian that did what he had to do. He wasn't no gang member. You guys want to say, oh, but he ratted. You know what? Civilians can rat. Sorry. He wasn't really a gang member. He was an extorted civilian that wanted to fit in with a gang and use that gang for protection. But he wasn't a real blood. He wasn't a real gang member. He wasn't, he wasn't even jumped in. He did a couple of things and shot a bunch of videos. How do you call somebody a rat when they really weren't part of the gang? But you know what's funny? They used him to take down everybody else because everybody else wanted to be high profile and get noticed. Guess what? You guys caused your demise by putting it all out there and taping everything. And you guys don't realize YouTube videos like this and videos that you put out there and all the trolling going to get you all in hot water if you keep doing it. Stop the trolling. Look at the Takashi 6 9 case and the Treyway case and what all these guys, how many years these guys are going to spend in jail. Use that as an example. Don't be a Treyway. Okay? Don't be a Takashi. Stop playing out like you're the baddest badass and you're in the baddest, toughest gang on the planet. Just because you think you're in a badass gang ain't going to make you anything better. Go get a job. Just like Shadi said. Go get a job and don't know nothing. <laughs> Play it safe. That's basically the best words I could give you. Shout out to BBN, Jack Frost. He's a good friend. He's become a good friend. His content's lit. Go check him out. Go check out Jimmy Jams too. Jimmy Jams. Jams TV. Jimmy Jams lit too. He's got good stuff as well. And you know what? Subscribe to my videos too. Because you know what? I'm trying to make it all work out here. Because I will get to the top. I will make it out there. And you know what? When it all comes down to the end of the day, we're all going to win. Everybody's going to win. So subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. And let's all win together. In the meantime, world famous Method Peter. World famous Method Peter TV. Like. Comment, subscribe. 
Have a wonderful evening. Shout out to all of you.